I got you, girl. Since you asked for brutal honesty, I'm going to give you an honest makeover to help you instantly glow up. To start off, I'd recommend using products to make your curly hair more defined. I think it would look so beautiful once it's all curly and taken care of. I think a warm color really complements your facial features, so I just added some subtle highlights in there. Your skin is already so nice, so all I'm doing is going in with some concealer to brighten the center areas. I'm also adding blush and some freckles as I think they would look so cute on you. It really makes you look sunkissed and like you live at the beach. Now I love your thick brows, so I'm just filling them in to be more bold for this look. I'm adding mascara to bring out your eyes even more. And lastly, your lips are so, so plump, so I'm just using a pink lip tint to make your lips even more apparent. Here's the end result. Look at that difference. If you want to glow up but don't want to post yourself or only get these useless comments, you can get a private makeover from me, link in bio. I'm you know what I see? I see a strong, confident, beautiful young lady. <laughs> oh, look, you're here too. Oi, ela olha pro Devon. Só na intenção de pique, então vai tomar. Vai tomar. Toma despercebida. Vai tomar. Vai tomar. Parou. Voltou. Vambora. Toma despercebida. Vai tomar despercebida. She my private dancer. You can call her phone, bitch. She ain't gon' answer. You can call her phone and I probably answer. You look so much better without glasses. Oh my god! You look so much better too. When I don't wear my glasses. I remember when I took this video, I thought, a year from now, I'm going to be so different. I said, I'm willing to go home. It's a hundred niggas in the spot. I won't keep going. It's 85. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us, but you're playing. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. My private dancer, you can call a phone, but she ain't gon' answer. You can call a phone and I probably answer, nigga. <laughs> you date him? No, he's fat. And that, um, that hurt, you know? And I think that just, that flipped the switch in me where I was like, okay, fuck you, watch this.
How did I go from this to this? You really had me out here thinking I was mid. Like I wasn't that gas, like I wasn't that fire, like I wasn't that za. Are you crazy? Well, let me reintroduce myself. Snatch. Let's get into your 2024 glow up plan. If you're sick of feeling the same way, of feeling tired, sluggish, like you could be doing better, like you could be in better shape, you could be happier, you could be feeling better, this might just be the video for you. If you're new here, hi, I'm Izzy and I share my glow up tips. There are many elements to the glow up and today we're gonna to be focusing on the physical elements of a glow up. I'm gonna make a separate video on the internal and everything else that comes with that. Number one we're gonna be talking about is skin invest in your skincare. I don't, and when I say invest, I don't mean that you have to be buying like expensive skincare and like 12 step routines, no. What you need to do is dedicate yourself, invest in it morning and night, do your skincare. Focus on ingredients that are really gonna be targeted. Less is more when it comes to skincare. Think about your azelaic acids, your hyaluronic acids, things like this, these ingredients that are powerful that can be found in one product and focus it on less really is more. Think about targeted, powerful skincare that you can use that is going to give you the best results. And if you can, as an additional, invest in facials. If you could do these once a month, once every other month, I just do face gym as like a lifting sculpted facial as well as like, we'll get them to do some like cryo contouring, maybe like do some extraction if I need it. And this really just helps me like keep on top of my skin and what's going on with it. Your skin is ever changing and as a woman like you're going through your cycle like every month so being on top of your skincare is very important number two we're going to talk about style stop buying into trends and focus on style what is your style what do you feel good in what pieces can you buy that are elevated are going to make you feel and look good when you're buying trends, you're oftentimes you're going to be focusing on like maybe buying slightly cheaper things because you're buying so often. But if you focus on pieces and think, okay, I really want that and you save up for it and you invest in those pieces, not only are you going to look after those better, it's just going to elevate your look entirely. I've changed so much since two, three years ago. Like I've glowed up in every single way imaginable. But one of the things I really focused on was elevating my style and not buying into trends and trying to buy things that are of a better quality because it does just make you look and feel better. Number three is to find a workout routine that works for you. I've said this a million, gazillion, trillion times. If you are not a Pilates girl, that is fine. If you don't want to run 10K every morning, that is fine too. If you don't want to do boxing, spinning, whatever it is, that is fine. But find something that you love. That could be dancing, that could be trampolining that could be swimming for me i found weight training about four months ago guys it is a game changer i cannot tell you how much of a boss ass bitch i feel when i'm loading that weight with 20 kg 25 kg and then i'm hip thrusting it and i'm like doing it all myself something about it as well as like the physical changes that i'm seeing with it and by the way that's more than any workout i've ever done but something about that strength that you're gaining like as a woman, especially just like knowing what I'm doing at the gym, that confidence that exudes with it, that strength that I now feel, there's nothing like it. Next, we're talking about hair, nails, etc. Hair, I really like wasn't something I invested in before. Like, I'm not a natural blonde, if you couldn't tell. But what I will say is the condition of my hair, this is like day four, no wash. The condition of my hair is better than this ever been and i remember someone saying to me that like if you can take care of your hair like make sure you do because that's the thing that ages you the most and i was like okay despite the comments of people thinking i've got botox i haven't but anything i can do to make me look younger is fantastic i use a leave-in conditioner because apparently a leave-in conditioner spray is like a moisturizer for your face like Imagine not using a moisturizer, you wouldn't, but apparently not using a leave-in conditioner is the same. I also do hair oil. I use the Fable and Main like scalp oil. I put oil on my hair like after I've washed it. I use 
the Color Wow Spray. I have one of these at home and one of these at my boyfriend's house. There are certain products that I have one of at home and one of at my boyfriend's house. And I like, those are my Hurley Girl products where I'm like, I need one wherever I'm gonna go because if it's not there, like if it's not there, I can't wash my hair. Get regular trims. I know, I know, I never used to want to, but actually like the difference in my hair quality since I've just been like regularly trimming and just like, Using better shampoos and conditioners, again, these really don't have to cost the earth. I use the Function of Beauty ones. It's really like not that expensive and it doesn't need to be silicone free, da da da, all of that stuff free. Actually, those things are quite good for your hair. Just find a shampoo and conditioner that works for you. Next is oral hygiene. I'm sure that we all brush our teeth, but focusing on like flossing and using a mouthwash is also really a game changer. I've also started carrying a little like tch -tch breath spray around with me and it's fantastic. It just makes you feel good. Like it's just giving you that like elevated, glowy, like got my shit together kind of gal. And the final one is body care. I feel like this is something that people don't always necessarily talk about. I feel like when we talk about skincare, we talk so much about the face. As someone who suffers with psoriasis, and I'm actually in the middle of a flare right now, body care is so important. I've been using the Paula's Choice Neosinamide. This is what I use whenever I have a psoriasis flare up. Don't take this as verbatim. Obviously you consult your doctor first, but this for me is a game changer to keep my skin just like smooth, looking good. And I've also been using the Naturium Salicylic Acid Body Wash, which, cause I was getting a few like pimples on my chest, like your skin is ever changing. I'd never had that before. So I got the Salicylic Acid Body Wash. So I've been using that, like it's really gentle on your skin along with a good moisturizer. Like having like, just like good, supple, glowy skin is like just gonna make you feel good. And so much of like a physical glow up is how you feel. Like you exude that energy, that confidence, that glow. And that is how we are going to physically glow up in 2024.